Hello, and thank you for choosing Orchestra's how-to series. Today, we're going to talk about user-defined fields and how easy they are to add and manage uh, on your documents. So specifically today, we're going to add a user-defined field to the BP master, the business partner master data. So let's dig right into the software. And to do this, we have our business partner master data. And as we can see, I already have some user-defined fields defined. In order to add a new one, I'm going to go to Tools, User Defined, or sorry, Customization Tools, User Defined Fields Management. Select Master Data, Business Partner, select the Business Partner row, and say Add. Okay, so I would like to add a field that is this business partner in good standing. So I'm going to call this field good standing and the description which will actually display on the form is what is the description so I'm going to call this current status now we're going to make this an alphanumeric meaning that I can enter numbers or letters and I'm going to make this 50 characters um, I usually tend to err on the high side in case for some unforeseen reason I want to add a longer uh, value in the future it's the system's not going to start throwing errors that I then have to diagnose. I'm going to set some valid values for this field. And I'm going to say um, value is C, description is current, P, uh, we'll call that one, pass due, and we'll do one more which we'll call H. And so what we have here is the value and the description. The value is what the value that's actually recorded within the database, and the description is what will be displayed in the field. Now I'm going to set uh, a default value for this field as current, and I'm not going to make this field mandatory. So I'm going to say add. Oh, I've got a space. This is a good lesson. Um, you cannot have a space in a title. It can have an underscore, which is common practice when naming database fields, but not a space. And it's going to tell me the database structure has been modified. It's going to close all open windows, and we can now go back to our business partner master data. Once we refresh it, use it to find fields. We're going to have a new field called current status, which defaults to current and now has a drop down for current, past due, or on hold. I hope you found this helpful, and feel free to contact us at 559-477-4256 with any questions, or on the web at www.orchestrateam.com. Thank you, and have a good day.